Without question, you are the worst thing that ever happened to my poetry. No, I'm serious. I've heard about writer's block, but this shit is ridiculous. My poetic fluidity has dried up faster than a woman hitting menopause to a point where this dry spell got me praying for some sort of inspirational discharge to leak from the folds of my pattern in my brain and... What? Shit! See what I mean? I've been thinking for far too long with my heart instead of my head, and I think people may be starting to notice. And I've got a reputation to uphold. And no, it is not my time of the month, so don't ask. It's my time of the day. Or at least what used to be, when I could sit down and write a really gritty, angry poem. You know, one just seething with teenage angst. But now I can't because you, you make, make me too damn happy. <laughs> or should I say sappy? I used to watch Face the Nation for international news and then The Daily Show for international hope. Turn out great <laughs> with wit and sarcasm, but now, now I, I can't. can't because you have me watching the stars. And no, I don't mean Brad and Angeline, I mean those, those stars. stars. You got me watching, think about it. You got me watching the same as I am. God, maybe that'll make a great poem. And, and, and this is crap, like fuck. a slap across the face of my muse who's had to withstand so much abuse. She's threatened to leave my side. Leave my mind. I try to tell her, please, it's just, just not, not a, a good, good time. time. But she leaves me with my pleas and really bad rhymes. And I just can't do this anymore. I refuse to let my words sink to such levels of atrocity. I refuse to submit to. Roses are red, violets are blue. My, my poetry sucks, sucks and, and it's all thanks to you. But you turn <laughs> my mind to mush. And I can't help but wander off in these little moments of irrelevant romanticisms and irrelevant metaphors like dipping my hands and tongue into the paint can of my mind. I splatter gooey gobs of thought against the wall. <laughs> As the rest of the world tries to make sense of my lovesick babble, they come with black sharpies to connect the dots. Forming man-made constellations for my nonsensical thoughts, and, and this, this has, has to, to stop. stop, because speaking an abstract metaphor so that you think I have a more poetic view on the world than you is against my poetic ethics. Which rhymes with ethics. Which, incidentally, is one more poem topic you have rendered useless because I'm a hoppa, which means I'm of mixed blood. Which means I never fit inside the checkmark box. I always fall between the cracks. <laughs> I'm always writing about trying to find my culture, where I belong. But these poems have fallen to the wayside as I find I, I belong, belong up against your chest. My arms around your back. Eyes, eyes closed. Belong. I sit down to write a poem, and the only thing in my head is you. And I don't understand how you can be the worst thing that ever happened to my poetry. If, if you're, you're the, the best, best that, that ever happened, happened to me. me.